Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and we have the top stories we are tracking for you on Wednesday, the 3rd of January. Locals battles dense fog and freezing temperatures in northern India. Adani welcomes India's top court verdict in Hindenburg case, says truth has prevailed. And Bangladeshi Nobel laureate Mohammed Yunus convicted in labour law case. And now for all the details, as North India is facing reduced temperatures, residents have been taking measures to combat dense fog, poor visibility and bitting cold conditions. People in Jammu and Kashmir were seen sitting around fires, wearing warm clothes with covered heads and sipping piping hot tea to keep themselves warm amid peak winter season. They said it is hard for them to even step out of home. बहुत ठंड है बहुत 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 नल के जम जाता है बहुत सर्दी है माइनस टेम्परेचर है बहुत खतरनाक सर्दी सवेरे निकलना है मुश्किल है मजदूर के लिए बहुत निकलना मुश्किल है Meanwhile delay trains and buses increased pollution and smog caused inconvenience to the residents in the Indian capital New Delhi poor visibility also persisted across parts of northern and central India While winters in South Asia are mild as compared to Europe they can at times prove deadly as thousands of homeless live in shacks without heat ठंड की वजह से ये क्या आग जला सकते हैं सर मोटे मोटे कपड़े पहन सकते हैं बाकी परेशानी तो बहुत हो रही है ठीक है पोल्यूशन है पोल्यूशन की वजह से कोहरा है कोहरा की वजह से दिक्कत है बसें नहीं आ पा रही हैं ट्रेनें भी रद्द हैं इसकी वजह से पब्लिक के लिए बहुत परेशानी है and hours after india supreme court rejected key demands of petitioners seeking to derail the ongoing sebi investigation into allegations raised by hindenburg research billionaire gautam adani welcomed the decision and said the truth has prevailed the pleas claim the allegations that the adani group considered close to pm modi's government inflated its share prices and after the report of the short seller hindenburg research the share value of various group entities fell sharply The conglomerate rejected the report and called the report maliciously mischievous. The court said the center and SEBI would look into whether the report violated any law on short selling and if it did then they may take any action in accordance with law. Ahead of the verdict the market cap of Adani Group crossed the rupees 15 lakh crore milestone climbing from its all time low of rupees 5.8 lakh crore. Pakistan People's Party on Tuesday accused its former allies of Pakistan Democratic Movement PMLN and JUIF of conspiring to delay the 2024 general election the dawn news has reported both want to run away from the polls so one ally is suggesting a delay and the other is staying silent on such an anti democracy proposal the news portal quoted PPP leader Nisar Khoro as saying He said elections must be held on February 8 come what may and cautioned that any move to cause delay in polls would be taken as a contempt of top court Notably in past few weeks PPP chairman Bilawal Bhutto Zardari has been vocal against PMLN supremo Nawaz Sharif even challenging the three time prime minister in his party stronghold Lahore Moving on a complete shutdown strike was observed across Balochistan and parts of Pakistan On Wednesday to voice discontent over a dismissive attitude from state officials while a massive sit in protest against Baloch genocide is underway in Islamabad Amid the ongoing protests in Islamabad against Baloch genocide a shutter down strike was observed across Pakistan on Wednesday as people voiced discontent over a dismissive attitude from state officials The Baloch Ek Jati Committee said the state has consistently shown a half-hearted and uncommitted concern regarding their demands accusing state authorities of calling their movement mere propaganda activists have long claimed baloch people have been targets of so-called military operations ethnic stereotyping and abductions by the pakistani state and its forces they blame pakistan repeatedly carries out such atrocities to instill fear and exert control over the baloch people who have been demanding independence from its occupation 
A Bangladesh court earlier this week sentenced the country's only Nobel laureate, Mohammad Yunus, to six months in jail over labor law violations, a case his supporters have claimed is politically motivated. Yunus and three employees from Grameen Telecom, a company he founded, were convicted on Monday of failing to create a welfare fund for its employees. Denying the accusation, Yunus said the verdict is contrary to all legal precedents and logic. I call for the Bangladeshi people to speak in one voice against injustice and in favour of democracy and human rights for each and every one of our citizens, he said in a statement. Yunus, who is facing more than 100 other charges over labour law violations and alleged corruption, had won the 2006 Peace Prize for his work to lift millions out of poverty by granting tiny loans of under $100 to the ruler poor of Bangladesh. However, Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has accused him of sucking blood from the poor. Sri Lanka has taken the first step to set up the much-delayed Truth Commission, a major demand for reconciliation post-2009 with the end to the armed conflict with the Liberation Tigers of Tamil Elam. The Foreign Ministry has issued the Gazette for the bill, local media reported. Sri Lankan forces battled with LTTE in a war that the government won in 2009. The UN estimates in the final offensive around 40,000 Tamil civilians were killed. The commission is expected to provide people with a platform and opportunity for truth-telling and means of effective remedies for the aggrieved. Sri Lanka has been for years promising the UN that a truth-seeking mechanism would be set up. Once tabled in the parliamentary order paper, the Gazette would be subject to the Supreme Court interpretation before it can be debated and enacted as the Act. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.